In the world of Bart, there is no tire that cannot be repaired. Only people who do not have the right skills. This hole is bigger than the mouth of a bowl. In this 80-year-old teacher, has long been commonplace, even though he was almost killed by this tire, but still completed the repair work outstandingly. The netizens are stunned after watching, probably even if the flat tire, all blow up in the future. Patch this piece will not rot. The master first used a knife to fix the perimeter of the hole. He did not know this tire. What story has happened to this tire? He just wanted to fix it, never let it have another accident. And then after he was done with the setter, he fixed it with the chain cutter until he was satisfied. Then he used the sander to polish it carefully. Of course the inside had to be rough as well, so that when the glue is applied afterwards, so that it can be glued more firmly. Next he brings in a thick nylon thread to sew the tire together. These giant tires are very thick. Every stitch was a struggle. The master did not flinch. One is his own pursuit of craftsmanship. Secondly, he has always defied the old mentality. I have to say that the stitching is really good. Then he painted it with a black glue. The tire patch needs to be carefully selected and processed. First scrape off the excess with a scraper and make its surface sufficiently rough to create a fine grainy feel. Then apply an even coat of a special black glue for tire patching. Then put universal black tape on the seam to increase the adhesion of the tire piece. The whole process was meticulously completed in one go. I was amazed by the next operation. The master actually played with mud. It turns out that the seemingly simple mud in the teacher here but as a wonderful use. He took the mud and put it little by little around the tire. Soon formed the shape of a bird's nest. Then he poured the melted aluminum water into it. It turns out that he is making a tire pattern mold. After the aluminum water cools and cures, you can take off the mold. During this process, the master almost hit by a giant tire into the wall. Fortunately, there is no danger. With this tire pattern aluminum film, then we can proceed to the vulcanization process. The furnace under the film is heating it up continuously. The master is getting stronger with age. Such a heavy tire. He alone can easily push it into the aluminum film. And it was in the right place. He first put the previously prepared. He put the tire repair skin on it. Then stuffed sandbags inside. Finally, he put on the pressurizing machine and tighten it hard. Vulcanize in shape with high temperature and pressure. After the tread is out, the old and new rubber fused together is inseparable. Finally, Use a soldering iron to smooth out all the burrs. What do you think? What do you think of this master's repair technique?